It's called I'll Fight You for the Library. For Dr. Joseph D'Angelo, my fifth and sixth grade English teacher, PhD, eighth degree black belt, sensei. I'll fight you for the library, a poem in four letters. One, to Clarissa Lerner, librarian. Dear Clarissa, I understand that the research periods I reserved in the library next week for my classes have been canceled. Just out of curiosity, who and or what is more important than my class's research needs? Two, to Nancy Devlin, secretary to Dr. Richard Blackstone, Dean of Instruction. Dear Nancy, the librarian informs me that Dr. Blackstone has reserved the library for a facilities utilization meeting of the administration next week, and that all classes scheduled to meet in the library on that day must meet elsewhere. This is unconscionable. <laughs> Academic instruction takes precedence over administrative meetings, period that Dr. Blackstone, the Dean of Instruction, would even consider canceling one class's library period in order to hold a meeting called Facilities Utilization is so obtuse, I am incapable of appreciating the irony in it. Three. To Dr. Richard Blackstone, <laughs> Dean of Instruction. Dear Dick, <laughs> with all due respect, I don't think you actually do understand my frustration. <laughs> or else you would not have used that word. See, I am not, in fact, frustrated. The correct word would be outraged. I will not reschedule any of my class's library periods for any administrative meeting, especially one that purports to be discussing the effective use of the school's facilities. I do not care if the library is the only place in the school big enough to accommodate your meeting. It's also the only place in the school with books! And lastly, I would be f the first to apologize for editorializing through your secretary if I thought that the statement, academic instruction takes precedence over administrative meetings, were a matter of opinion, and not, in fact, a matter of fact, and not one I thought I would have to explain to the dean of instruction! <laughs> to conclude. If any one of my classes are denied the use of the school's library next week, then please alert Dr. Joyce Santiago, the district superintendent, to be ready to accept my resignation. Four. This is a true story, by the way. To Dr. Joyce Santiago, <laughs> district superintendent. Dear Superintendent Santiago, for 40 years, I have served the interest of my students, providing them with all the encouragement, guidance, resources, respect, and love they require to grow into productive, responsible, informed, and well-prepared members of the community. I do not take this responsibility lightly. I take it with all the nobility, grace, and gravitas of the teaching profession. So on behalf of my students and their parents, I thank you for finding another place for Dr. Blackstone to hold his meeting. Sincerely, Dr. Joseph D'Angelo, fifth grade English teacher, PhD, eighth degree black belt, sensei. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming out. Ladies and gentlemen, go 